Let's talk about ideas. You have ideas, or if you don't have ideas, that's cool too. Let's just talk about it because I was just thinking about ideas and how many ideas I've had, I mean, every day over the years and how many ideas I've actually put into action, implemented, taken some kind of action on versus the way more ideas that never became anything, right? And how so many people think that, oh, I have a really good idea, so now I'm gonna be a millionaire. And it's like, no, no, no. Like, everyone has a lot of ideas. And maybe not everyone, like, puts a lot of effort into thinking about ideas or remembering their ideas or, Maybe like me, like I write lots of ideas down. Maybe you don't write them down or maybe you're like me and you do and you have like a whole book of ideas. And that was the other part I wanted to talk about with ideas because they actually can become clutter. And I've had issues with clutter between like having extra things or getting really like into a new hobby or project and getting all the things I need and then not doing that anymore but keeping all these things and it's similar with how ideas can be or maybe you decide you're going to do something and it keeps getting put off like maybe you put it on your calendar maybe you wrote it down and then like other things either keep taking priority or that's just not something you want to do anymore. And I would like to invite you, just like you would do with a checklist, if you have an idea or something on a to-do list that you're not really doing, whether you decided you don't have the time for it um, or you decided you just doesn't appeal to you anymore, whatever the reason is, I invite you to remove it from your idea board, your to-do list, wherever you have placed it, because that's going to release you and open up more mind power, creativity power, um, to allow the things that you do want to do. Now, that was a lot of do, sorry. If it is something you still want to do, perhaps you schedule it on and off day or you know when you take some time off and you still have it there but it's not something that you frustrate yourself with every day I didn't get to that project right like how many times have you signed up for something or gotten a book or whatever and you didn't get all the way through it and now you feel like something undone over here like you haven't completed it it can create anxiety just like clutter can create anxiety and it, it fills up headspace and creativity space. So either take it and move it somewhere else where you're going to address it and you're going to deal with the thing or if you have decided that it's not something you're going to do, remove it altogether. I've done that even in my calendar where, you know, I will have like maybe I start doing a new exercise routine or a new meditation or whatever and I put it on my calendar and it shows up every day to remind me to do the thing. Well, sometimes it's something I'm not doing anymore and I don't want to have that show up anymore because now it's just filling up space and instead of, oh, I'm stopping now to meditate. I'm driving right now. I'm not going to stop to meditate. Don't worry. But I'm stopping to meditate now and I'm not doing it, then that could end up being an actual frustrating moment or say you put on there you know, some sort of exercise you're going to do twice a day, like you were going to stop and do 50 push-ups or something, you know, whatever you're going to do. And then you're not doing it. Now you're actually creating, you know, stress and anxiety by seeing it and, oh man, I can't do it now. I don't have the time or I'm very busy or I just don't want to do that anymore. Delete it. Just delete it. And don't keep bothering yourself with it. Now, if it's something that was really important to you and you have stopped doing it, think about, consider how you can do it. Like, okay, maybe you did want to do 50 push-ups once or twice a day and you had put it in your calendar or just a thought about doing it and then you weren't doing it and now you, you really do want to do it. Figure out when would you be able to do it? Could you get up 
10 minutes earlier in the morning? Could you watch 10 minutes less of TV at night or do while you're watching TV? Like whatever. If it's something that you really do want to do, figure out where it's going to work. But if you know that it's something that is no longer important to you, something you no longer want to take on, I really, really encourage you <clears throat> to remove it. Remove it from your list, remove it from your calendar, remove it from your notebook, remove it from your mind, let it go, and then watch how things that do belong show up. I hope this has helped you. Let me know if you think of these sort of things as well, like you have a lot of ideas and how ideas can almost be like detrimental because they're just there. Have a great day.